Hello, this is episode 9 of Thomas Talks. Today I've got a couple of things. I know it's been a while since I've done an episode. Haven't really had a whole lot to talk about. But we got a little bit of updated news. Um, first of all, Minecraft 1.8, the pre-release, has been released. You can go to minecraftforums.net and I tried out the first pre-release. Very buggy, very laggy, and well, the pre-release 2 is out, and Notch fixed it, where it's not anywhere near as laggy, so you can go play that, and uh, just in case you don't know how, you, uh, I'll give you the link in my description. Go there, they've got the pre-release, download the zip, and unzip it, and move, take out, and if you want to, back up your Minecraft jar file. Take it out and put this Minecraft jar file in your bin folder instead. And it will, because it's not the same as log in and it does the update. No, you have to actually replace the jar file for it to work right. And uh, they added some of the new stuff in there. They added stuff like Slenderman and ravines, rivers. They also added experience orbs and uh, some of the some of the new monsters and uh, they added quite a lot of the stuff they're doing in 1.8 if not everything and the experience orbs work a little differently since he did the pre-release patch if you want to call it a patch where uh, when you die they won't explode all over and lag the game out because I actually had an issue with that and we made it a note to him and he fixed it and where you would die and say I was level 5 that's thousands of little orbs that would explode off your body and your items that you were carrying so it would lag everyone out and especially on a server because we're I'm playing on a server with my friend right now and uh, that drummer guy is who I play with well it, the server pretty much almost crashed just from me dying so uh, he fixed some of that. So yeah, 1.8 is out. I'll put the, descri the uh, link in the description for my video, and you can go try that if you play Minecraft. And uh, then also we've got the PlayStation Vita release date has been announced, but it's only for Japan. The release date for Japan is December 17th of this year. And it's going to cost around 29,980 yen, which is about $250. Uh, now, they don't have any information on the U.S. and European release date yet, but I'm sure it's not going to be too far off comparative to Japan. I mean, kind of depends on what they want to do. They'll probably do it fairly soon afterwards, I'm sure. Um... Also, we have new footage of Skyrim out. Uh, Bethesda has released about 20 minutes worth of Skyrim footage showing dungeons, dragons, some of the fight stuff. Uh, there's actually three different demo videos, uh, one of which is about five minutes, one is eight, and uh, the other is about nine and so it adds up to be just over 20 minutes and they show you some of the armors and weapons uh, you've got uh, you've got the new UI that you can look at now and uh, the fighting system how the dungeons are going to work a little bit and it's just, it's really cool actually. You should go look at the videos. I'll put the link to that as well in my description. I'm going to put the link to all three of the videos because they're YouTube videos and instead of putting three different links I'll just put one to MaximumPC.com and you can watch them there and uh, watch all three of them on the same page. It makes it a little easier. You can individually link to them from there if you'd like. But, uh, and then also they've got, um, Apparently, uh, 
something's going on where someone's trying to uh, sue eBay for something. I don't really have a lot of information on that, to be completely honest. But if you would like, I can get information on that. Uh, Warner Brothers is also being sued for copyright fraud over something. Again, not really sure what. I'm sorry, I can... This is sounding really bad because I should have information like this, but I really just haven't looked at it much. Um, on the other side, I mean, nothing's really happening with Project Zomboids. If you play that, they did their patch, and after that, they've pretty much been fairly silent. Um, they're doing some sneak peeks for a couple things, but that's about it. Uh, Space Marine came out the 6th. If you've played it, you've realized that there is no co-op to the campaign, which you may have already known, you may not have. Me, I thought there would be a co-op campaign, and there's not. Uh, but multiplayer, if you have played that, you can play as a tactitional, which is bolters, uh, plasma guns, stuff like that. And, uh... You can play as Assault, which has the Jetpack Assault, and has the melee weapons like the Chain Sword and the Power Sword and the the Hammer, stuff like that. There, uh, and then they've got the Devastators, which have the Heavy Bolters, the Plasma Cannons, and the Laze Cannons for sniping. Uh, the Devastators move slower, can't dodge as well, but they have big guns. The assaults die really fast, but they do a lot of damage. And the Tacticional actually probably have defense around the Devastator's point, but they can still dodge fairly well too. They're actually, for some reason, the Bolter is really powerful, and it's, I would almost say that it beats Devastator's heavy cannons. For some reason, I think they're trying to level it out, but that doesn't work well. But anyway... Uh, if you haven't played it, then you don't know what I'm talking about. And if you do have the game, then they are supposed to be releasing in early October a co-op, kind of like a horde mode for uh, this, which can be up to four players. You can be Assault, Tactitional, or Devastator in there. And not only will you earn points in the co-op when you play in this mode, but you will also earn points for your experience in multiplayer. So you can unlock different armors and you can unlock uh, experience to level up and get new weapons and such in multiplayer as well. And like I said, that's supposed to be early October and I'm not sure how early, but they just made the announcement the second, which was four days before the release. So it should be fairly soon. I mean, because they... And it's free. It's free. If you have Space Marine, you automatically can go and just get that because they didn't think it was enough co-op for uh, people. And they're right, really, honestly. For me, I wanted more co-op in the game. And this is a good way to get the co-op aspect of the game. So yeah, if you've got it and you've got friends that play it, be watching out for that in early October. And uh, as soon as it comes up, I will definitely make a mention of it and tell you guys that it's up, tell you to go get it. Um, then as far as Gears 3, Gears 3 comes out here in about seven days. Well, nope, it actually just turned to six days. And uh, I have it on pre-order. It's supposed to be doing a midnight release. Hopefully I will actually be able to do that. And uh, so hopefully, I, I still haven't gotten my Roxio up and running yet, yet, but hopefully I'll have my Roxio up by then, and I'll be able to give you guys some footage. If not, I will definitely still tell you what it's like. They, uh, you can go to IGN, and I'll try to get this link in my description as well, as many links as I'm giving you. Uh, they have a gameplay, kind of, eh, wouldn't really say a gameplay trailer, but they have some an unboxing of the Legendary Edition and the Xbox. The Xbox makes its own personalized gear sounds when it turns on and off and when you mess with the disc tray. So that's really cool. And then they kind of reveal some of the stuff in the 
Gears 3 Legendary Edition box, which is a schematic for what I think is the Hammer of Dawn's satellite, a Marcus Phoenix cog tag uh, medal, some art, some pictures, uh, the, uh, the art book that came, if you got the special edition of Gears 2, you'll know the art book I'm talking about. Uh, well, they did another one for Gears 3, and comes with a massive Marcus Phoenix statue, which that he took it out, and it's probably about a foot, foot and a half high. It's nice sized. I mean, you stick this on your desk, and it takes up a good fourth to half of your desk. <laughs> so, very nice statue. Definitely worth it if you want to throw 150 bucks at a game. Me, I got my order messed up and could not get the Legendary Edition, but I will make sure to get that statue, that's for sure, because I'm sure there's people who are going to be selling it on eBay and stuff like that. So go uh, go look up, if you're a Big Gears fan, try as hard as you can to try to get Legendary now, because you're running out of time, and you may already be too late. Um, so yeah, Gears 3 is supposed to have, it's got the four-player co-op in it, now, for the story, for the story mode, is four-player co-op now. Not sure how that's going to work out, but hopefully it'll be really good. They said ammo is so scarce that you're going to run out a lot, so make sure to preserve that ammo. And with four players, make sure to distribute it right. you got to use strategy. This is four-player co-op, and you need to work as a team. Um, they said the enemies are harder now, and to take more precision, you've got certain points that kill certain enemies. They've got these uh, boomers now that they actually are lambent, and the boomer, the lambent boomers will eat ammo. I mean, clips and clips and clips, and all you can see all this, and they describe all this in their gameplay trailer that they talk about, and all. Like I said, I'll give you the link to that. But they've got that. They've got horde mode one and 2.0 which features all new creatures, creatures that you'll see in Gears 3, obviously. Uh, then they've got creatures coming back like the, uh, the Corpsers and, the, and uh, Brumox. You'll have to fight them in this horde mode. You got all new uh, weapons and stuff like the Silverback mech suit. You've got a dumbed down version looking kind of like the silverback but it looks dumbed down where it doesn't have guns it's just more of a melee type like if you were to make a, a forklift mech is kind of what that looked like to me from the gameplay so they've got that in story mode they've got that is what it looked like anyway and then they've got a mode and this is rumor I haven't been able to confirm this yet but they have a mode that is like horde mode but you're the locust attacking the cog instead and like I said, I have not confirmed this yet, but I can't lie, that would be amazing. Because something like Dead Space 2, you've always got in there this this new multiplayer in Dead Space 2 where you could be the, the, uh, the enemy and just the physics of the enemy is always fun. So uh, definitely, if you are a Gears fan, and even if you're not, I definitely encourage you to go buy Gears 3 because... It looks to be one of the most anticipated games of this year. And then they've got Dark Souls coming out almost right after Gears 3. I mean, it's just, this is an action-packed winter session right here. Because you've got, you've got Warhammer, then you've got Gears 3, then you've got Skyrim, Dark Souls and Skyrim. And Dark Souls has already got a, an, a backtrack behind it. I mean, it's just the transition for that from PS3 to Xbox is going to bring so many more people in. This is a phenomenal group that we're getting in here. And now they've got, I just got word that they have started and apparently they're almost done working on the new Avengers movie, which includes the Black Widow, Thor, Iron Man, you know, all the Avengers from the Marvel comics. That's almost done. And that'll be coming out, hopefully, within the very beginning of the year or uh, right after the beginning of the year. 
I mean, it's just, there's so many things going on this holiday. You got to stay tuned to figure out everything because it's just amazing. But I'm running out of time. I'll keep you guys updated with whatever I can. Like I always say, comment, like, dislike, tell me how I can improve this, shoot me some games you want me to keep track of, because honestly, it gives me more to do, and I can put these videos up more often for you guys and tell you the news. Um, other than that, I gotta go. This has been Thomas Talks. I'm out.